Welcome to Pemberley Farm. Last week, my husband and I and our oldest son went to the mountains of North Carolina, among other reasons, to get a lot of apples. And these are John of Gold apples. They are great apples. They're, they're sweet. They're really, most of them are really, really big. Very, very good apple. And we're gonna show you some more that we got and we're going to do some slicing for dehydrating and we'll take you along on that journey. These are pink ladies and they are in the sink because they've been washed to get ready to um, slice them, peel and slice them uh, to dehydrate them. And I'm going to pan over here. This is a handy little gadget if you don't have one and you do very many apples you need to get one it cores and peels and slices at a at a, a very thin slice which is perfect for dehydrating so if you do very many apples and you don't have an apple peeler they're not that expensive you need to invest like I said the pink ladies will be used for dehydrating and fresh eating they are very good very sweet apple and um, we may can some, don't know, but for sure, fresh eating and dehydrating. Now these green apples, you might think are Granny Smith's, but they're not. They're Mutsu's. And we're going to mostly make applesauce out of these. They're good for applesauce and they're good for fresh eating as well. They're a little more tart than say the Pink Lady, but not as tart as the Granny Smith. And we're gonna uh, do some baked apples with it. Now, where did we get all these apples? I'll tell you in just a minute. Okay, here we are. I had to get one of the box tops and put it up on the counter so you could see better. These are grown by Barber Orchard's Fruit Stand in Waynesville, North Carolina. We've been buying um, apples from Barber's Orchard for 40 years. So, if you're ever near the Waynesville, North Carolina area, make sure you go by Barber's Orchard and find some apples. They make the best um, apple fritters and apple cake and apple loaves and all apple turnovers. I mean, they, you, anything apple, they've got it and it's delicious. And some of the best apple cider you have ever put in your mouth. So if you're in that area, make sure you go by and check them out because they are wonderful. Okay, Abby's, um, Ashley's going to demonstrate for us. She's going to put the center of the apple onto the prongs. And then she's going to turn. And it's going to peel the apple. And as it peels it, it slices. Well, the quarter slices it. Yeah, the core slices it. We'll have to take, there's a, sometimes the, depending on the shape of the apple, it leaves. See, look at there. That is amazing and it makes your life so much easier. And those are perfect. Uh, we'll get the little bit of peeling off and it will go into the dehydrator and that'll be that. It is a great little gadget. And here is your peelings and your core. And we're saving all of those because we did a bunch of stuff yesterday. So we're saving all of that and we're going to cook it down and make apple peel jelly. Okay, so Ashley's doing another one. And what we've added to this picture is a bowl with lemon juice and water. Now you can use citric acid or you can use lemon juice. I just had lemon juice handy and so that's what I use it. Uh, and so the reason you do that is so that it will not um, turn brown as bad. Abby's been very enamored with this whole operation, so Ashley's going to help her feel out. 
she loves apples. She's just recently Hi. discovered her yeah. love for apples. Apple? You say apple? Hi. Cool, yeah. Cool. She's always loved applesauce. Yay! But she's never just had a whole You peel the apple. Piece <laughs> of apple. <laughs> okay, so we've come across the street to the old farmhouse where our um, dehydrator is hooked up. Um, and what we're going to do is just put these on the trays. Like I said, that um, core and peeler and slicer does a great job. Now, you know, like I said, some of the peels are... Um, not completely off in some areas but that's okay now then they're st still going to turn a little bit it's not going to they're not going to stay snow white this is not a commercial operation and i don't care what color they are we just do it so they don't get quite so quite so dark so we're just putting them on the trays then we'll put them on the dehydrator i turn turn on the dehydrator i believe at 135 degrees you can use any dehydrator. This is an Excalibur, which I love it, but um, you can use whatever you've got. And you can even, um, one of these days, you'll see a whole series on dehydration from the most, the best ones like the Excalibur, all the way down to something very primitive. But I won't promise when. And we love dehydrated apples. The problem with dehydrated apples is uh, them lasting very long because everybody loves them. And one of my favorite things to do with dehydrated apples is make fried apple pies. And what I do is I make my biscuit dough. And Abby's with us, always, she's with us. But one of my favorite things to do is make the fried apple pies and I make my biscuit dough and I roll it out and make um, little turnovers and use the dehydrated apples that I've rehydrated and kind of fried in some butter a little bit and do the same thing to um, my biscuit dough. When I roll it out, put the apples in it, turn it over and I kind of fry them in butter a little bit. Oh, they're good. Hadn't done that in a long time so I'm looking forward to doing this because like, like I said usually the apples don't last long enough to be able to do that. Somebody has eaten them unless I stand guard over them. Okay so we have filled up all but two, show, uh, two racks. We'll go back over to the house do enough to fill those two racks because I want this thing completely full. We're just going to shut it up and let it go and I'd like to say thank you for watching our videos, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, and have a blessed day from Kimberly Farm.